Hi, Rachel. So, Hi. So what I uh, liked about this movie is that it is, uh, it's inspiring in a lot of ways, but it also gets to tell like a very real story about a woman and her strength. And so for both of you, uh, obviously Pam, it is your story. And I you got to meet Pam and understand the woman that you're portraying. So what was that dynamic kind of like getting for Pam, getting to see your story on screen and Naomi getting to meet the woman you were playing? Yeah, I mean, every time I play as, as a real life person, especially um, if they're um, still around, it, it's it's different case by case. And you don't know if that how accessible that person's going to be. Um, at, but in this case, Pam was super available. I mean, it was COVID, so we didn't get to do in-person meetings. Um, we got to uh, speak on the phone multiple times. She sent me videos of her, you know, doing things like packing her backpack that day, which was very methodical. I would never have known how to do. So that was all helping to, <laughs> you know, understand the, um, you know, the crucial method behind everything, but also learn mannerisms and um, behavior and things like that at the same time it was very valuable. Um, but I just, Pam was incredibly open and incredibly um, willing to um, share her story and, and the, you know, finer details and uh, just getting to know that just drew me in and made, made this dynamic story of, of, of the rescue a lot more interesting by understanding who she was. And Naomi brought everything to the role. Um, she definitely paid attention to uh, the little nuances and gestures and, and just ways of me, because when my kids saw the trailer, they said, that's you, mom. So yeah, she, she absolutely, you know, was watching it and seeing me doing that, but her face, I'm going, yeah, she's got it. <laughs> she. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, Obviously, Pam, you know uh, that kind of terrain very well, but for Naomi, what was that training like? Because it, it seemed like a lot being thrown at you at once, uh, mm -hmm. facing the elements. Yes, I'm, um, I consider myself um, quite agile and up for challenges, but um, you, you never know quite what they are. Um, until you're really in it, no matter how much preparation you do. Um, and we certainly had some days that were pretty hairy. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm a real chicken for the cold weather. I am, there's not enough heating packs on the planet for me to get comfy with those kind of temperatures. Um, but um, yeah, so it all was just helpful. I mean, the, the scene where I find um, John, Billy Hal, the wonderful actor, um, we, it was the coldest day of the entire shoot. And of course, that was the day that he had to undress to absolutely nothing. And I had to dress him and he was dead weight, basically. And this, you know, when you take a, one glove off for 30 <laughs> seconds, that hand is going to lose the ability to move for you know a good five minutes afterwards right pam i mean it, it is you know that cold um better than any of us and and it is it you cannot believe it and poor billy had to take off all of his clothes and his warming gear and be stripped down to shorts and just sneakers um and it was it was very scary to shoot in in that temperature with those conditions can imagine. Uh, thank you guys so much. I'm very excited for everyone to get to see this movie. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so what was really interesting about the movie is that uh, Pam's resilience and story is obviously a true one and it's not fabricated. So what was so interesting about her as a woman that inspired you for this? I think particularly that the most interesting was that story is happening within, let's say, eight up to 12 hours. Like the, 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 for the filmmaker, it's very interesting, you know, and that you have two characters only, a camera, nature, and that's it. You have to make a film. 
uh, me as a European filmmaker, it's something very familiar, you know, to work that way. Not with the big setup, thousands of extras, no, exactly like this, being concentrated on that. So this was like the most important, interesting part. And the fact that these hours change her life and change his life. And at the end of the day, the story brings kind of hope to everyone. So that's what I like about the story, about the real story, about the story on the screen. Um, you mentioned like it's contained, but it is also like you're fighting elements in this movie. And how is that uh, as a director trying to navigate the, the real world uh, elements and also what you had to add for the film? Oh, it was it was very much very demanding, very challenging project because we've been very much limited with time. We had twenty five shooting days. It was during deep COVID. Yes, twenty five shooting days. <laughs> Crazy, I know. We had to create this infinite storm without having a big budget, and so obstacle. You know, every day I can tell you. <laughs> and uh, Naomi was super brave. And uh, she was like, doesn't, didn't act at all as a Hollywood star. She was like total, normal, organic human being, you know, attached to this crazy mountain, to the crazy weather, weather conditions we have to face. So I would say that this project, project was super challenging, <laughs> but, but maybe that's why uh, you feel that there is something believable because we've been all so tired and she was so tired and Billy was so tired. Everyone uh, passed through real storm somehow that then you can feel it on the screen at the end of the day. Yeah, like you really feel it when she opens that beer at the end of the movie. You're like, okay, yeah, I get this. Um, <laughs> So I talked to Naomi and Pam earlier and it was really interesting to see how they work together. And so I want to know how much did you get to work with Pam and understanding um, her actual story? I, I, I've been talking with Pam on the phone, uh, this very old fashioned way, because Pam, <laughs> she's like this, she's like, she wants to talk on the phone. So you have to call to a certain number, you know, <laughs> which is very funny. We've been talking on the phone a few times. I was trying, also she was recording a little films for me on someone record <laughs> with very old fashioned phone, phone uh, some little films, how she's packing her stuff while she's going up to the mountains. So she was explaining on these little videos, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I was kind of observing her and I was trying to learn the way she speaks, the learn she behaves. So that together with Naomi, of course. So that's how I approach to, to Pam, the real Pam. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, I think that's my time. I love your pin by the way, but uh, I can't wait for everyone to get to see this movie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.